acknowledgements versus giraffes. And as a notary loan signing agent, these are two of the most common notarial certificates that you will see in your loan packages. So you want to get very familiar with uh, knowing how to complete these uh, notarial acts. Okay, um, now let me say this before we get started. Um, and this is just my experience, just my experience. I'm not trying to coerce or persuade anybody to do anything. I'm just sharing you my experience and my process. So normally when I meet with signers, I have already told them that I needed a copy of their driver's license. I make sure their driver's license has not expired. Um, but so when I arrive to a signer's home, normally they have a copy already for me. They have their driver's license out. Um, oftentimes I will need a second form of ID as well, especially if I need to fill out the Patriot Act. So I have the uh, primary ID and then there's usually a secondary there. If I don't see the ID already out, I immediately ask them, I need to see your ID. Um, once I have verified that their ID is good, then I complete my notary journal. Now I live in the state of Georgia. Georgia does not require me to have a notary journal. However, to, in order to protect myself, I complete a notary journal. I complete uh, and I journal every notarial act that I do. Every time I stamp a document, I write it down in my journal. So I have the signer to sign their name. I also get a right thumbprint to verify that um, I did meet with them. They willingly signed the documents. And that again, that is just to protect myself, okay? So I verified their ID. I have uh, put it in my journal. And then the next thing I do is I go ahead and administer an oath because there are going to be acknowledgements and directs within that loan document. So I go ahead and get that out their way. I ask them to raise their right hand and I perform an oath. And I my oath is simply as, do you affirm under the penalties of perjury um, that the information contained in this document is true to the best of your knowledge. And they either say yes or I do. Um, now that's the, uh, now if I do an oath, then I will say, do you sw sw solemnly swear under the penalties of perjury that the information contained in this document or statement is true to the best of your knowledge, so help you God. And like I said, while I'm stating this, they have their right hand and I need them to verbally say yes or I do. Okay, so they must verbally say out get loud yes or I do. Again, that's just my process. I like to go ahead and get it out the way because if you are doing a oath, I'm sorry, if you're doing a direct or acknowledgement, you must perform a oath to the signer. Okay, so let's get started. The first one I wanted to talk about is an acknowledgement. This is how most acknowledgements look in a loan package. However, lenders, sometimes they do their own little acknowledgement. So the wording is the same, but they may have added more verbiage. Um, I've seen all type of different acknowledgements, but generally this is a general, general acknowledgement. Now, um, the general requirement is, of course, they must, the signer must appear in front of you, personal appearance, and then that you must verify their ID um, to verify that they are who they say they are, okay? So with an acknowledgement, it is going to contain the venue, and what I mean by the venue is the state and the county where that notarization is taking place at that moment in time. If the state or county is incorrect, you will always cross it out and put either the correct state or the correct county. For example, I did a notarization. It was a, per, it was a buyer um, packet and the couple was moving to Ohio. They purchased a home in Ohio. Well, the lender 
I guess, assumed that the closing was going to be done in Ohio. So they took the liberty to uh, type the state of Ohio and whatever that county was. So because we were not doing the closing in Ohio, we were in Florida, I had to cross out the state and the county and put the correct state and county in there, okay? So always make sure your venue represents where you are currently doing that notarization. Okay, so this instrument was acknowledged before me, this, whatever that day is, today is the 7th, it will be the 7th day of February 2020 by the signer's name, Mr. Signer. You're gonna check produce ID, check your state laws for acceptable forms of ID, but typically it is a driver's license. So I would check um, produced ID. I would write Georgia driver's license on there. I would sign it, print my name and stamp it. Now you wanna make sure your signature and your printed name matches the stamp, okay? This is an acknowledgement. The person has uh, appeared before you uh, and you have identified um, their, uh, you have identified them and, you, their, and their willingness to sign. Acknowledgement, you verify their ID and their willingness to sign. Now this is a direct, similar verbiage. Um, the only difference is you see the word sworn. When you see sworn, you know that is a giraffe because the person has salt, swap, salt, solemn, I can't talk. The person has sworn under the penalties of perjury that that information is correct. That is a giraffe. Same thing with that venue would be listed. You wanna make sure you have the correct state and county. Again, it will say sworn to or affirm and subscribe before me, that date, that month, that year, the signer's name, you will check produced ID, the type of ID, Georgia driver's license, sign, print, stamp, sign, print, stamp, okay? So that is how you complete a jurat. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go on, come on and do a very brief uh, video. So either the acknowledgement is going to contain the word acknowledge or the direct is going to contain the word sworn or firm in it. The verbiage is a little different. It looks the same, but the verbiage is just slightly a, a little different. Acknowledge, sworn, acknowledge, sworn okay so thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video um, thank you so much i would please like to know how you're doing in your notary journal journey um how are you doing are you a brand new notary and you have not started yet have you started but things are a little slow like let me know how you're doing okay so peace and blessings to each and every one of you take a moment and subscribe to my channel like share comment all that good stuff until next time peace